Here we will tell you about the discovery of a new syndrome which we have called Warshaw Breakett syndrome that can be added to the group of cohesinopathies. This study was published in the American Journal of Human Genetics in January 2010. First, we will give a short introduction about the cohesinopathies and sister chromatid cohesion, after which we will show why Warshaw Breakett syndrome can be included in the cohesinopathies as well. The term cohesinopathies was introduced to comprise syndromes that are caused by mutations in genes encoding proteins that are involved in sister chromatid cohesion. Thus far, there were two described cohesinopathies, Cornelia de Lange syndrome, or CDLS, and Robert syndrome, or RBS. With the discovery of Warshaw Breakett syndrome, this can disease can be added as a third cohesinopathy. As mentioned, cohesinopathies are caused by defects in proteins involved in sister chromatid cohesion. In S phase, DNA is duplicated and sister chromatids are synthesized. These sister chromatids are kept together from replication until cell division by sister chromatid cohesion. This process is carried out by the cohesin complex, which is believed to form a ring around the two sisters to keep them together. Next to this cohesin complex, multiple other associated and regulatory proteins are involved in guiding sister chromatid cohesion. When in a cell something goes wrong in sister chromatid cohesion, defects are displayed in metaphase chromosomes. While normally chromosomes are X-shaped due to constriction at the centromere, cohesion defective cells can show chromosomes that look like railroads because of a lack of this cohesion at the centromere. Or the cohesion between sister chromatids can be totally lost, which is called premature chromatid separation, or PCS. In this figure, we have quantified the cohesion defects in different cohesinopathies. As you can see on the right, cells of a healthy control mainly show normal chromosomes, also after treatment with DNA-damaging agents, mitomycin C or chemtotecin. Cells of a Robert syndrome patient mainly show railroad chromosomes, as shown on the left. Though Cornelia de Lange patients are mutated in structural or regulatory proteins of the cohesion complex, these patients do not show cohesion defects. When looking at the Warshaw Breakett patient, one can see mainly railroad chromosomes in untreated cells, but when treated with mitomycin C or chemtotecin, total premature chromatid separation is induced. This phenotype is clearly different from the other cohesinopathies. To find out which gene was mutated in Warshaw Breakett syndrome, expression levels of proteins involved in sister chromatid cohesion were analyzed by Western blotting. By use of a polyclonal antibody of ABNOVA raised against DDX11, we found the absence of DDX11 protein in Warshaw Breakett patient cells. Additional sequencing confirmed the presence of mutations in the DDX11 gene. To confirm that this absence of DDX11 protein is responsible for the cohesion defect displayed in the patient cells, Warsha breakage cells were stably transfected with cDNA encoding DDX11, or with an empty vector as a negative control. Western blotting showed the expression of DDX11 in the transfected cells while not in the empty vector control. The expression of DDX11 corrected the cohesion defect in these cells, as shown in the right figure. The empty vector was not able to correct for the cohesion defect. Because the cohesion defects are corrected by ectopic expression of DDX11, this demonstrates that the DDX 11 deficiency is responsible for the cellular phenotype of Warshaw Breakett cells. 
So what is known about the function of this DDX11 protein? The knowledge about DDX11 mainly comes from studies in yeast, in which the protein is called CHL1. It is a DNA helicase belonging to the family of DEAH helicases. Studies with CHL1 mutants showed that the protein is required for sister chromatid cohesion and replication for stability. It prevents chromosome loss or missegregation and these mutants showed G2M phase delay. Also, an interaction with CTF7 or ECO1 was found. This is the protein that's involved in Robert syndrome. About the mammalian protein, much less is known. In an attempt to make DDX11 knockout mice, it was shown that these mice are embryonically lethal, and aneuploidy was observed in the embryos. In human cells, the protein is only expressed in proliferating cells and is involved in cohesion at the centromere and along the chromosome arms. DDX11 is a helicase that is related to FENG-J and XPD because of its iron sulfur cluster. FENG-J and XPD are both genes that are involved in other chromosomal instability syndromes. From this we can conclude that DDX11 is an interesting protein to investigate cystochromatid cohesion, replication for stability and DNA damage response.